Hey guys, Peugeot here. Welcome to another guide. Today I'm going to give you a short introduction into badges and basically how to use them and what setups you can use depending on what troops you're running. Basically the badges are going to give you bonuses when socketed into your equipment. Right here we can see we have eight equipment slots and each of them has a space for four badges, usually three, but when you do the research for the badge master in the master tower, then you unlock the fourth slot. About setups, you have a few choices. You can run one troop type, two or maybe three. First, we want to use the badges in the best way. Now, ideally, we want to have golden badges like this all the way around, all of them. However, that takes a bit of time. So before we have all the badges gold, we need to actually spread what we have in the best possible way to get the most percentage. For example, if you have only one gold badge and you equip it, it will give you 25%. However, if you split it into four purple ones, each of the purple ones will give you 15%. So multiply that by four, that's a total of 60%. It's better to split your badges into a lower quality and equip them in such a way so that you can get the maximum percentage. Now, let's look at setups. And to do that, we'll go into the blacksmith right here. The blacksmith is the place where you can look at your equipment and all the badges that you have. So first we will look at single troop type. What do you want to run? Now, for example, if we look at bow, which is what I am running, you can see that I have an attack, a defense and a health one for my troop type. And for the fourth slot I've chosen a total attack, which will boost my attack just a bit. That is ideally what you need if you're running a single troop type. Now, of course, if you're running another troop type, then you have the choice to put a war badge, which is something that you get from the KVK shop. And, of course, this would be better than the total attack because it can give you the defense as well, which is much better. So you still use the attack, the defense and the health. And, of course, you can do the same if you're going into, for example, spear. But then I don't have health badges, so what you could use, if you don't have any, is to put some total ones or the KVK ones. You still, of course, going to need attack and defense. And of course, the same applies to infantry, monotroop type, attack, defense and whatever else you may have. Now, of course, if you are running two troop types, then things change. Firstly, you're going to need the attack for your front line, and also you're going to need the defense and health for your front line, and then you would need to put in the fourth slot the attack for your back line. For example, if you're running calf spear, you would need all of the buffs for the calf and of course the attack for the back line. The back line doesn't take damage, usually you just need damage on it. And of course if you are running three troop types, then things change a bit. You have two choices. You would either be running the attack for each troop type plus health for the front line, that's one of your choices, or if you have a lot of stats, from elsewhere, then you might want to consider running total attack because total attack is very good when you're running three troop types because it's going to buff each and every one of them. So in this case, this badge is going to give a total of 3.6 attack combined to your army. That is how badges work. Basically, make sure to unlock them and to get as many as possible. There are plenty of ways to get them from everywhere in the game. And this is how you use them and what setups you may consider. Thank you for watching. As always, I'm at your service. See you guys.